When I was growing up, we always had pets around. Am I, am I, am I indivisible now? Okay, we had pets. <laughs> of course, we had dogs and cats. We had gerbils and parakeets and turtles and goldfish. We even had ponies. For a while, we had a duck. And that duck is a story in itself. But the pet I'm here to talk about tonight is my pet lizard, Larry. Now, some of you here have met Larry already. Some of you have not. Larry was not a large lizard. He wasn't a little bitty lizard either. He was about yay, or yay, something like that. Just the right size, I thought. Larry came into my life when I was in my, store, my um, costume creating phase. Uh, I made a nice costume for my dog, which he thought was okay. I made a cute little cape for my cat. The cat didn't care for the cape, but I didn't care. And then I turned my attention to Larry, the lizard. Now, really, my, my uh, sewing skills were not very good, and I, I knew that. So I didn't, I wasn't really sure I could sew a costume that would really be right and look good on a lizard. So naturally, I turned to aluminum foil for my costume making. Aluminum foil is very user-friendly. You can fold it and mold it and shape it and make it do just about anything you want it to do. So I, I took my time, got a pretty good little costume going, fitted it right to custom-made, fit it right to him, and I even made a little hat with a, a strap under his chin. The hat kind of came to a point up on the top. <clears throat> And I really liked my result. It was a grand little, and it was shiny. Aluminum foil is shiny. I like shiny, but I like sparkly too. So I put a little glitter on there, some sequins, a few little rhinestones, and boy, he was really looking good after all that. Now, back in that day, we didn't have the term bling, but he was really blinged out. I hazard to say that. Very few of you have ever seen a finer lizard costume. Well, maybe you have, but I kind of doubt it. Well, <clears throat> Larry lived in a glass gallon jar with some bits of grass and whatnot. Of course, I had made holes in the lid so he could breathe. Um, I was very proud to have a pet lizard, the only pet lizard on the block, possibly the only pet lizard in town back in, those, in that time. Took him with me everywhere, almost everywhere. I didn't take him to school, didn't take him to church, but when we visit friends or I was playing with the neighborhood kids, I even took him to grandma's house on Sunday after church. So he got around, got around pretty good for a lizard, I, I would say. So this one particular day, I went out to play with the neighborhood kids in, in our backyard, took him out there with me, put him in a kind of a, this fork of a, the mulberry tree up by the lumber pile we were playing in. And he was enjoying watching the show. I'm, I'm sure he was enjoying watching us. And we uh, actually we played there for a while. We decided to go down the block, maybe a half a block or so down the street and uh, to some other kid's yard. Went down there and after we'd been there just a little while, I realized I didn't bring Larry with me. I forgot him behind. So I went back to get him. And, well, the jar was right there where I left it. But Larry wasn't in the jar. The lid wasn't on the jar. I looked for that lizard. I looked high and low and back and forth and up and down, in and out. I looked and I looked and looked. I never found him. Not a fragment of foil, not a glimmer of glitter, not a single sequin, nor even a rhinestone. There was nothing there, totally gone. All I had now was a glass jar with, jar with some stupid grass in it. That's all I had left. Well, to this day, I don't know whatever happened. I don't know. Was it an escape? Was it a release? Maybe a theft? Do you really think anybody would be so cruel as to steal a young girl's beloved and highly adorned lizard? I like to think that is not the deal. I, I hope not. 
I hope he lived happily ever after and had a wonderful life after Denise. Maybe he dilly-dallied around a bit and made some more lizards. That would be good. Uh, I would hope that for him. What I do hope did not happen is, you know how reptiles and lizards are reptiles. They like to warm themselves in the sun, raise their body temperature. So I hope his instincts did not get the better of him to where he sunned himself so long that he broiled to death inside <laughs> inside his I don't see anything funny about that, but I guess I'm glad you do. So hopefully that was not his fate. We'll we'll say that's not what happened. But that's all that's pretty much to the end of Larry, as far as I know. <clears throat> but I had me a pet lizard. I dressed him up one day in tin foil and sequins. He looked good to me that way. I had me a pet lizard. Oh, Lord, I love that little lizard so. <laughs> but then one day he up and he left me. I don't know why he had to go. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I love that little lizard, love that little lizard so, oh, man. <laughs>